Hello YouTube, Triumph Guy here today and I'm going to be doing a coolant pressure test on this vehicle. Don't worry, the coolant pressure tester itself is only 35 quid and I've used it quite a lot already. This is pressure tester for multiple cars, Fag, Vauxhall, etc. And the affiliate link in there will earn me some commission but it won't cost you any extra so thank you very much for supporting the channel. Firstly, we're going to remove the filler cap for the coolant. And once that's done, we're going to fit the relevant cap. And like I said, the kit's got plenty of these caps. Once that's nice and tight, all we're going to do is put the pressure pump on. Here's one of the coolant hoses before we've pressurised the system. As you can see, it's quite soft. Hand pump it up to 1.5 bar and then leave it for 15 minutes. You can also undo the oil filler cap to make sure that there's not a head gasket failure between coolant and cylinders. As you can see now, the coolant hose is nice and firm, and that just shows us that it's pressurised. If you squeeze it, you should be able to see the dial going up and down ever so slightly. In our case, it was the radiator, and I will be doing a video on how to replace this at a later date. As you can see, it's dripping from underneath the car. These cars are now getting a bit older, so it's always worth just checking all the coolant hoses. As you can see there, it's dropped from 1.5 bar. If you can't find a leak, then it'll be something internal like either head gasket or the oil cooler, but you should be able to see contamination in either the oil or the coolant if that's the case. Thank you very much for watching. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments, and there'll also be a maintenance playlist for this car in the comments too.